Well, look, my next guest has had a tough couple of years when her private life was splashed on the front pages, but she's back stronger and better than ever before and has stepped up to the plate. Take a look at this. As a working mother, model and TV presenter, Yvonne Keating is used to multitasking, but only recently developed an interest in cooking. Okay, so talk me through what you're doing. Okay, so I'm doing um, fillet of lamb. Yes. I'm serving it in a roasted tomato. Oh, smoke's never a good thing. Well, my idea is I'm doing a Bloody Mary in a roasted tomato. So I love tomato a Bloody Mary. The They're just flavours that I love. Um, and being from Kildare, I love lamb. My whole family loves lamb. Please welcome the really lovely Yvonne Keating. Great oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Those boys lovely. Yeah, were they so nice? Yeah, yeah. gorgeous. They were so gorgeous. But listen, MasterChef, Celebrity MasterChef on tomorrow night, 9.30 yes. RT1. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Um, I, I'm going to have to watch it on IT, uh, RTE Player because yeah. uh, I have to go to Galway for my daughter's film premiere, so I'm going to watch it afterwards. But I can't wait because it was just a fantastic journey and a fantastic experience. Um, and it was a competition, but the other contestants were just so amazing that we couldn't really compete. We were putting pressure on ourselves, not I know. you know each other. Um, but I can't wait to watch it just to see how they got on, more so than how I got on, because they're great. They're a great bunch of people. And do you like, I often wonder, you know, when you go into something like MasterChef, would you be a good cook anyway? Like, do you, would you be mad about cooking? Do you like cooking? I've, I've always cooked. You know, when you've got kids, yeah. you, you have to cook, really. Yeah. Um, but I really started to get into it about two years ago, and I find it very therapeutic and, and really started to get in and try and learn more. So when MasterChef came along, I mean, it wasn't something I could turn down. It was a great opportunity. But I really would have liked another six months or a year to, to really finely tune, tune the, the yeah. skills. Um, because my food, my style was very home cooking. And MasterChef is just, you know, elegant, sophisticated, yeah. gourmet. You know, it, it wasn't what I was used to. But, I, you know, I learned a lot and it was an amazing experience. What were the guys like, uh, Dylan and Nick? Do they play hard cop? Good cop, yeah, bad cop, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dylan is um, as scary as he looks, um, <laughs> and Nick is lovely. You know, he's the good cop. So no matter what Dylan says to you, then Nick comes in with a big smile, and, and then it's all fine. Um, but it was great. And uh, in fairness, I, I'm joking about Dylan. He was great too. He's very passionate about food, and we all learned so much. So nobody was that worried about where they came in the competition. We just embraced the fact that we were there. We were all interested in food and learning so much. There's loads of good people in it, because I was just seeing the promos going on. Who do you think is your biggest competitor in terms um, of who's going to win? Yeah, we all thought Angus is really, Magarina, really experienced. Yeah. You know, Tracy uh, has, you know, did the restaurants. So we were all a little bit worried about her. Uh, Maya Dunphy is a really inspired cook. She's very creative. Um, so, you know, there was a lot of... Um, there was, we were, I was up against it, really. You know, it's funny, though, that you cooked, as you say, we all have to cook with kids, yeah. but wasn't there some infamous story about a George Michael dinner party? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. I, um, I had just moved into a house in London, I, I don't know, years and years ago, and although we, had, we used to go out for dinner with George, we'd go to restaurants, but, of course, he wanted to see the new house, and we said... I remember Rowan was going, come over, and I'm in the background going, Oh no, no, there's, we don't even have cutlery. So, of course, ran out, bought cutlery and plates and all that kind of thing and decided to cook a curry from scratch, which I'd never cooked before. Served it up and literally we all spent the night with tears <laughs> and noses so running hot. and all that kind of thing. So it was a disaster, but we had a good night.